The Chaparral football team has had a great season with a 6-1 record, but it is their off-the-field actions that has made this season a success. A Halloween display in a Naperville neighborhood is scaring up controversy. Why neighbors in this community say the decorations went too far. And after 19 years on the air, your British American buddy, John Burnett, is retiring. We sign off with one of the WDCB's most beloved on-air personalities. All that and more on this edition of Career TV News. Hi, and thanks for joining us. I'm Alistair Kunches. WDCB's longtime morning jazz host, John Burnett, best known to his listeners as your British American buddy, has officially signed off. After 19 years with the station and becoming one of the station's most recognized air personalities, Burnett has decided to retire. Burnett hosted his final broadcast for WDCB's Jazz on Thursday. I'm not looking forward to, to uh, being without the radio and my and my colleagues and stuff, but uh, it's something I have to do. I'm married, I've got kids, I've got family, and uh, it's just t the right time for me. Burnett came to WDCB in June 1996 when he accepted the position as the overnight jazz announcer. After eight months, he moved to the morning slot that he still occupies. Burnett's signature is his charming British accent, but he is also beloved by his loyal listeners for his cheery disposition, his impeccable musical taste, and especially his love for the big bands. And of course, his infamous Chip Chip Cheerio sign-off is one of a kind. Chip Chip Cheerio to TFN to half an hour. We've got uh, Wes Montgomery taking you up to the top and slightly just over. While Burnett is stepping down from his daily announcing duties, he'll remain a presence at the major WDCB station events. Plans are in the works for a new weekend show, slated to begin in January 2016, in which Burnett will continue to share his love of great vocalists and legendary big bands. On Wednesday, November 4th, the college will present Psychology of Video Games from 2.30 to 4 p.m. in SSC 3245. Presenter Dr. Patrick O'Connor will discuss if video games are as harmful and addictive as some might claim, or if they can have a significant benefit for those who play them. This interactive presentation is free and open to the public. For more information about this event, contact James Allen at allenj at cod.edu. The Chaparral football team honored the Western DuPage Special Recreation Association Special Olympians this past week during halftime at their home football game. Chaparral team members have been volunteering their time weekly to help WDSRA athletes with their lifting and conditioning in preparation for the Special Olympics. Uh, I like I like to just get the, the, the how they get the muscles in it, the big muscles. Strength and just yeah, doing the strength part and. Getting, make sure everything's like in tune and then, that, everything. Western DuPage Special Recreation Association provides engaging community-based recreational programs and inclusion services for children, teens, and adults with special needs. For more information about this program, please contact WDSRA at 630-681-0962. The Chaparral men's soccer team will be heading to regionals this year with a first round bye. Our Athletes of the Week, Eric Good and Matt Culpa, kick around the reasons why the team is playing well this year. Sports reporter Rob Nardini talked to the athletes about their goals. The Chaparral men's soccer team is heading to the regionals this year with a first round bye. Freshman starting goalkeeper Eric Good and center back and captain Matthew Culpa talk about going from defending their country to defending their team's goal. I knew that I wanted to play soccer at College of DuPage. I had always wanted to play at the college level. It's just something that once I went into the military, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do anymore. Playing soccer is important to me. It's something I've done my whole life, something I've always had a passion for, and something I've always enjoyed doing. Going from military life back to civilian life can have its challenges. I'd have to say the biggest challenge would be uh, adapting um, to civilian life as well as uh, 
getting back in shape and all that kind of stuff to play soccer is definitely a big step. But those challenges can be turned into positives. And obviously the military gave me the maturity and discipline I think needed to be able to do what I'm doing here. Focus and discipline certainly helped these oldest freshmen on the team. Uh, the coaching staff has motivated me. They look up to me uh, to be that older, more mature person on the team and to help out with the leadership and the discipline. How does the old cliche go? There's no I in team? Well, there are two eyes in winning, and that is just what this team can do. My fellow teammates inspired me by just constantly working hard. How are they feeling about the upcoming playoffs? I hope to do really well in the playoffs. Uh, I'm feeling pretty confident about it, and I think we can do really well. I think at the beginning we struggled with team chemistry. As our games kept going, we started to get better and better at working together, and I think it finally took off, and we're starting to do much better now. Soccer seasons may come to an end, but this winning friendship will continue. Um, we've known each other since about fourth grade. It's been a pretty long time. We've always been good friends growing up, always talked to each other about pretty much everything, so uh, that bond has definitely it's always been as strong as it is. The Route 59 road construction is almost complete. Halloween is this weekend, and the DuPage County Sheriff has some tips to keep you safe. And a subdivision in Naperville says no to homeowners' Halloween display. Here's your look at your community roundup. Commuting to COD from the western suburbs is starting to get easier. The long-awaited end to the major construction on Route 59 is almost complete. This is a widening and reconstruction project through Aurora and Naperville from approximately New York Street, Aurora Avenue to Ferry Road on the north. The project also included the construction of a diverging diamond interchange at the Route 59 ramp to Interstate 88. A diverging diamond traffic pattern is relatively new to drivers in Illinois, but promises to improve traffic flow. The Route 59 construction project took three years to complete. Former House Speaker Dennis Haster pleaded guilty this week on federal charges of lying to investigators. Haster initially pleaded not guilty to the charges, but a plea agreement was reached earlier this month. Sentencing is set for February 29th. Sources with knowledge of the probe say Haster was paying a former student to stay quiet about allegations of sexual abuse when he was a coach and teacher in Illinois. The Illinois Republican served as a Speaker of the House from 1999 to 2007. And a Halloween house in Naperville is scaring up controversy with its neighbors. 18 years ago, homeowner Nicholas Thomas started a tradition for the neighborhood children that turned his home into a legendary Halloween sensation. But not everyone on the block was up for the festivities. Neighbors took it to the Ashbury Homeowners Association with complaints of disruption and child safety. So many people wanted to see it that it just was difficult for some of the neighbors to get into their driveways. A holiday decoration rule was passed on September 21st. This bill limits the decorations to fill a mere 50% of the property and confines decorations to limit of 30 days before and after the holiday. Because it can only be up, up for 30 days before the holiday and then 30 days for you to get it down. I have to arrange for the pods to be delivered so I can pull the stuff out and then so it takes me three weeks to get all that going. Covered in over 2,500 Halloween decorations and hosting a synchronized light and music show, it's no surprise this home draws in hundreds of crowds and costumes during Halloween season, many of them who voluntarily offer donations. So over the course of Halloween last year, when, when it was Halloween night, um, the next day, the total uh, reached $6,500. One Naperville fifth grader is on a mission to save the Halloween house. Sarah Marston started a petition. She surpassed her 100 signature goal to over 10,000 and gained national attention. Sarah and her supporters are working to get approval from the Homeowners Association in time for the Christmas season, when the Thompson Halloween House turns into the North Pole to help raise money for the My Joyful Heart Foundation. Mr. Thompson will continue the tradition by continuing to support the charities and having boxes available for donation. If you'd like to support the petition, visit the petitionsite.com. Halloween is this weekend. There'll be plenty of celebrating, but the scariest part of this holiday can be drinking and driving. Well, DuPage County Sheriff's Office wants to remind people the dangers of drinking and driving is that buzz driving is drunk driving. If you're going to go out this weekend and you're going to drink, you need to find a designated driver. Find a different way to get home, taxi, Uber, whatever you're going to do just to get home safely. Also, if you're out there driving and you see a vehicle out there swerving around and you think he might be impaired, call 911 when it's safe to do so. Uh, get a good, get a good description of the vehicle, the direction of travel it's going, and just let them know exactly uh, where the vehicle's going. 
This weekend, District 502's children will be going door to door for candy and treats. The DuPage County Sheriff's Department has tips for parents whose children are going to be trick or treating on Halloween. Parents should consider um, making their children very visible during trick or treat time. A lot of these kids are going to be in and out of driveways, in and out of parking lots. They need to be visible. They need to have reflective tape. They need to have reflective costumes if possible. And the re reflective tape could go on their bags and not just their costumes. If they're going to wear a mask, they, that's going to obscure their view a little bit. So maybe non-toxic makeup's a better idea. Older children need to stay in contact with their parents and stay in a group and not go alone. Safety concerns for parents and trick-or-treaters. Well, Sheriff Zaruba, Page County Sheriff, he feels that these uh, sexual predators are everybody's right to know where they live. So there's a website, go to the sheriff's website, dupagesheriff.org, and flip to a, a offender track. Trick-or-treating hours vary between communities. It is suggested you check with your town's schedule for trick-or-treating hours. Career TV wants to reassure Linus that the Great Pumpkin will be visiting this Halloween. But his visit may be short-lived. There will be plenty of pumpkins for jack-o'-lantern carving, but pumpkin pie may be scarce on dessert tables this holiday season. The sugar pumpkin harvest that is used to produce canned pumpkins for holiday treats was impacted by heavy rain and flooding. 90% of the sugar pumpkins are grown in Illinois. Libby's, the unit of Nestle that has estimated 80% of the canned pumpkin market, says that it thinks it will have enough canned pumpkin to make it through Thanksgiving. But the short harvest means it will be tight. Make sure to stock up early with canned pumpkin if you need your pumpkin pie fix this holiday season. Because the great pumpkin will not be making another appearance in the pumpkin patch until next fall. It's time to dust off your favorite costume and attend the Student Life Halloween Dance on Friday from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. in SRC 2000. Tickets are $5 and all proceeds go to participating clubs. For more information or to purchase your tickets for the dance, stop by the Student Life office in SSC 1217. It's time to fall back this Halloween weekend. Don't forget to set your clock one hour behind before you go to bed on Saturday night. Remember, it is going to get darker earlier now, but you will gain an extra hour of sleep. Thanks for joining us this week for Career TV News. Please join us next week as we connect you to the community with more College of DuPage news. Have a great weekend.